Hi, my name is Mick West of metabunk.org and controlscience.com and in this video I'm going to show you how I create the sky distance guide that I use for figuring out how far away contrails are in photographs. Uh, this is Google Earth, which is uh, I'm sure you're all familiar with. It's a very useful piece of software. Uh, the sky here is just plain blue and if you had, say, a plane somewhere in the sky, how would you go about figuring out how far away it was? Well, the way I do it is I put this distance guide up in the sky, which is basically a series of uh, concentric circles at five mile intervals, and the entire guide is placed in the sky at uh, a certain altitude which matches the plane. So if I know a plane's at, say, uh, in this example, it's 36,000 feet, uh, if a plane appeared here in an image, I would know that it was uh, 20 miles away from me. Let me just... Uh, flip that. Uh, if it appeared here just above the top of the Golden Gate Bridge it would be 40 miles away and over here it would be 60 miles, 80 miles, 100 miles and if you had some plane that you could see way off in the distance this orange line here is 200 miles away. Uh, and if I fly out of this view here you'll see what it actually looks like. So here is a 200 mile radius circle with each individual ring being five miles further out and it is at an altitude of uh, about 36,000 feet. So how do we make this? Let's, uh, let's go about creating it from scratch. I'm going to delete this one that I have over here. So what you'd need to do to start off with is to go to the ruler tool and just create <coughs> a line which is 200 miles long. Uh, just click on the way you want to start the line and bring it out 200 miles doesn't have to be exact 190 something there you 200.26 miles and now I click on this like on here which is uh, create a new image overlay and it's going to give us this and in the link I'm going to type in HTTP go on slash slash uh, metabunk dot org slash rings.png. Now if you don't like linking to metabunk.org you can just download this image to your computer and then you can uh, link directly to the version that's on your computer. It's just a, a PNG file, it's just a, an image file with some uh, transparency. Uh, so if I press the tab button here just to get it to load it, it takes a few seconds and then there it is, it's loaded it off my uh, my web server. Uh, I'm going to move it now so the middle of the uh, the ring is at the start of the line that we created earlier. And then I'm going to go out to the edge here and I'm going to hold down the shift key, grab this edge and move it in. So the end of the line is in the middle of this orange ring here which indicates the 200 mile point. And I click OK and get rid of this. So now now we've got the, uh, the the overlay correctly sized. If I go to the ruler tool again and go from the center of the yellow dot in the middle to the middle of this red, you'll see it's uh, five miles. Uh, now this currently is on the ground. If I shift it around you'll see it's actually conforming to the ground going up over those hills over there which isn't very useful for us because we want to see what the distance would be up in the sky. So what we do is we go over to the image overlay we've created click on get info which lets you edit it again and I'm just going to rename it uh, sky distance guide and I'm going to click here on altitude and change it from clamp to ground to absolute which is going to be absolute relative to the sea level uh, and I'm going to put in 10,000 meters, you have to use meters for some reason uh, press tab again and it will pop up the, uh, the image overlay to 10,000 meters which is about 33,000 feet Click OK. So now we've got our guide up in the sky. So if we go down to ground level underneath this image overlay, let's see, we're down here. 
somewhere. Go down into this, uh, this, this park here. It's going to street view here, but what we can do is click on this icon here to switch to ground level view. And this will just give us the, the 3D building version of the view. And you can see here, we can see the image overlay above. If we look straight up, uh, you'll see the dot directly above us. This ring represents things that are five miles away when they're at 30,000 feet. This represents um, 15, uh, 10, 15, and then 20 miles. Uh, and then they go uh, 25, 30, 35, 40, then 60, 80, 100, and all the way out here. And if you can see way off in the distance over here, the orange line represents a plane that would be 200 miles away. So if you had a, a photograph taken from this particular viewpoint, you could match up what you see from this viewpoint uh, with these lines in the sky, and if you know the altitude of the plane, I use 33,000 feet as a, a general average for most planes that are leaving contrails, then you can tell how far away things are. Uh, and it's quite easy to see that most contrails are going to be at least uh, at least 10 miles away from you. This this red line is 5, the green line is 10 miles away. But the, the majority of contrails you see are kind of like in this this angle here. So they're around in the 10 to 20 to uh, to 40, uh, 60, 80 miles away, uh, which is kind of surprising because lots of people think of the contrails as being overhead, and where overhead is really very, very straight up. You have to be looking like you know with your head tilted all the way back, uh, and that's actually quite a small area when you think about it. Most of the area of the sky that you can see is a longer distance away. In another video, I'm going to show how to uh, how to fit photographs to views like this uh, and this is where the uh, distance guy comes in very useful.